Kia ora guys, Chris back again and we're going to get into the next episode of House of the Dragon. So last time we had uh, things come to a head uh, between Rhaenyra and Alicent, uh, a lot of shade thrown at uh, Rhaenyra's children being not of Valerian blood, which they are not, um, them not being Lainor's children. Um, and we have Damon come back into the picture, newly widowed, uh, and Rhaenyra, you know, saying basically, marry, you know, we should be married. So we were led to believe that uh, Lena was killed, which he wasn't. He was able to um, fake his death and go with his boyfriend uh, off to, I don't know, somewhere and settle down somewhere together. We also had Eamon taking up the a uh, saddle of Vega after uh, Lena had died. Um, so now that has added another dragon into the high tower um, garrison, I guess. Uh, so you can kind of see, like each side, the the high towers and the um, Targaryens, um, you know, gaining more dragons on their side, and it's and I'm guessing we're going to be getting. Uh, a big, well, the big battle, which I think we all know is coming. Um, I don't know if we're going to be going into another time jump, but I am excited to see what's going to happen um, now that uh, Damon and Rhaenyra are joined and how that is going to help slash hinder uh, her um, ascension to the throne, whether that'll still happen. I don't know. I can't wait to see what's going to happen, though. <laughs> So we're going to get into the next episode, Season 1, Episode 8, The Lord of the Tides. Perhaps we're going back to Driftmark or the Stepstones? I don't know. Let's do it. It's been near six years since I last saw my Lord Husband, Maester. I must know. Six year Will jump? Will he live? He led his sailors into an ambush, a ship made to look as if it were abandoned. In the fighting, his neck was slashed by a courser's dagger. But the greater concern is the fever that followed. Ship's maester said, he burns from within. Let all be made ready to receive him, Maester Calvin. We may greet his ship to find him gone. And who will take the Driftwood throne? Is he gone to fight on the Stepstones? Because I remember it racking up again, right? I am the Sea Snake's own blood. The closest kin he has left. Be careful, good brother. None can take your words for treason. I speak the truth, Rhaenys. The crown has good reason to take my side. My cousin yeah. the king would have your tongue for this. But it's not a king who sits the Iron Throne these days, good sister. Oh. It's a queen. Okay, so he's even more sick. So she's... Alicent's kind of taken over. Oh god, that's brave. What is this now? Oh, dragon's eggs. Oh, Cyrex. The end? The mouth. Mouth. <laughs> Look how they've grown. He means to call into question Luke's legitimacy. And by extension, Jace, and by extension, my own claim to the throne. Has the viper's venom spread so far? Those vipers rule in my father's name. And my father... To King's Landing, then. Okay. I'm glad they seem to be doing well. <laughs> Welcome back, Princess. Lord Caswell. No one came to meet her. <laughs> Thank you for that exhaustive accounting, Lord <laughs> I remind you. Your guests have arrived, Your Grace. It's about the prince. 
There's been a delicate situation in his apartments. Uh oh. Which one? Shit. It's got cobwebbed. He hasn't been working on it for a long time. Oh yeah, he's fucking Father. on his last legs. Wow! Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck! It's me, my king, Rhaenyra. It has been so long. Oh fuck! It's gonna make me cry, isn't it? Father, there's someone we wish to introduce you to. They already have a child together? Who is that? They do! Oh. Father. This is Egon. Egon. And this is Oh, fuck. They have two? That, that is a name. Fit for a king. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh. Oh. Mighty. Mighty. This? Yes. Yes. Oh. Wow. Oh. He's really. Oh. oh, God. What is it? Are they keeping him sick? I understand you found yourself in some trouble. I was fetching the princess's wine and I put it on his table. And when I turned, I didn't see him. Oh. I asked him to stop. Your grace. <laughs> Truly. How are they going to get rid of her? I believe you. But what I worry about is what others might believe. You were alone with the prince, were you not? Yes. Oh, they're gonna gaslight her instead. Feel your troubles. The tea, Bruce. Oh, it's just a the tea to stop her. You know, this abortive tea. Egon! Get up! Oh, God. Mother. What is it? What is it? That's all you couldn't say for yourself. There's something happened. Think of the shame on your wife. Oh! On me! Is he married? How can you keep carrying on like this, especially on a day like today? Why? What is it today? Oh, Jesus. Princess Rhaenyra. And Prince Damon. Mm. It's been so long since we were granted the joy of your presence. My father and I are mere stewards of the king's will and wisdom. And how exactly is that wisdom expressed? Hmm? In blinks and wheezes. And I have no doubt it was an act of the purest mercy. But tell me, for the king's suffering, did the maesters also prescribe the removal of Targaryen heraldry and the installation in its stead of various statues and stars? Oh! Holy shit, I didn't even notice! And on the morrow, which authority will sit in judgment of my son's claim on his own inheritance? That would be mine. Oh. And the hands. But be assured, the father is just and commands me to forget the accusations you have held in this room today. Holy shit. She's scary. Oh! oh It's Aim Aymond. He's got a nice patch going on. Wow, he's growing. Holy shit. Holy crap, he's really going at it. Well done, my prince. Nephews? Have you come to train? Oh, he looks crazy. <laughs> Mm. 
Why do I feel like things are going to turn to bloody shit? <laughs> oh, no. He may yet live. But we must be prepared if he does not. The realm has enjoyed a long peace. A credit to the work of both Jaehaerys and Viserys, but the threat of war looms and may arrive on our shores. When it does, will you want a child at the command of the greatest fleet in Westeros? You intend to advocate for yourself? It is a trap. Set by the queen in the hand, I'd wager, to proclaim my son illegitimate. Yet you did worse than that with Lainor. Ooh. I'll make you an offer. Back Luke's claim and let us betroth Lena's children to mine. A generous offer. It is generous. But? Or a desperate one. What does Both. <laughs> Careful now. You can bargain with me all you like. But tomorrow the high towers land their first blow. Well, fuck. <laughs> Now what? I want to have supper, Otto. The whole of my family are gathered at the Red Keep. I want us to dine together. Oh. Bring milk of the poppy. No. Just arrange the supper. Fuck. He looks so. <sighs> he looks so desiccated. <laughs> I have spent my entire life on Driftmark defending my brother's seat. I am Lord Corliss' closest kin, his own blood. The true. Unimpeachable blood of House Valarian runs through my veins. If I am to grace this fast with some answer, I will start by reminding the court that nearly 20 uh -oh. years ago in this very... Oh. King Viserys of House Targaryen! He's gonna hobble all the way up there. I'm like, someone fucking help him, but you know, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. <laughs> I will sit the throne today. Your grace. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, God. I said I'm fine. The Damon. Oh, come on. Put it on him. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I do not understand why petitions are being heard over a settled succession. It was ever my husband's will that Driftmark pass through Selenor to his true born son, oh. Lucerus Valarian. His mind never changed. As a matter of fact, the Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons Jason and Luke to Lord Corliss's granddaughters, Vela and Rhaena. A proposal to which I heartily wow. agree. Okay. Whew. Fuck! God damn it! I hereby reaffirm Prince Osiris of House Valarian is heir to Driftmark, the Driftwood Throne, and the next Lord of the Tides. That is no true Valarian. My house survived the doom. I will not see it ended on the account of this. Careful. Her children are bastards! And she is a whore. We'll have your tongue for that. Oh! He can keep his tongue. Dishow! 
Stop him! Mini. Oh. oh, fuck! <laughs> I guess I should have should have known that was going to happen. How good it is to see you all tonight. This is an occasion for celebration, it seems. Let us toast as well. Prince Luceris, the future Lord of the Tides. <laughs> is that what he wants? You'll be great. Why do I feel like Aemon's gonna like kill one of these, one of his, one of his cousin nephew people? <laughs> oh shit! My own face is no longer a handsome one. <laughs> but tonight, I wish you to see me as I am. Yeah, he's definitely dying. Let us no longer hold your feelings in our hearts. If not for the sake of the crown, and for the sake of this old man, who loves you all, so dearly. None of them are going to listen to him. I wish to raise my cup to Her Grace the Queen. No one has stood more loyally by his side than his good wife. And for that, she has my gratitude. And my apology. I raise my cup to you into your house. It's nice and all, but it's not going to last. You will make a fine queen. Yep, it's not going to last. I regret the disappointment you're soon to suffer. But if you ever wish to know what it is to be well satisfied, all you have to do is ask. Oh God, can we not do this, please? Learn to take some fucking ribbing, okay? To Prince Aegon and Prince Aemond, we have not seen each other in years, but I have fond memories of our shared Oh, days. God, this isn't going to go well. The kids will fuck it up. <laughs> <Men. laughs> you as well. Oh, can we not do this? Oh, okay. I thought they were going to fucking fight. <laughs> uh, they're going to fight. Someone's going to throw hands. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to go at the table. Oh, no. I don't trust him. what's going to happen here. Final tribute. Each of them handsome, wise. Uh oh. Strong. I was merely expressing how proud I am of my family, Mother. Mm. Though it seems my nephews aren't quite as proud of theirs. Wait! Wait! Wait. Oh. He seems almost more like Damon than anything, you know? Let me see the children home. I'll um, return on Dragonback. The King and I would both like that. Seems genuine. I don't know with her. <laughs> what do you want it to do? If I believe it to be true. Believe what to be true, my king. Aegon. Oh, no. He's mixing up the... He thinks it's Rhaenyra. The prince that was promised. To unite the realm. Against the cold. In the dark. Oh, you. John. Oh, no, she's going to take it as his blessing. Oh, no! You must do this. You must do this. Fuck. I can't even be angry with her. <laughs> I understand, my king.
Fucking dagger. <laughs> Um. Wow. I'm guessing that he is dead now. Um shit, that's gonna be problematic. <laughs> uh, now now Allison's gonna think that. You know, Aegon is, is to be the one to, the, the prince that was promised. So, like, just as you think things are st starting to finally kind of simmer down between the two houses, you know, this is going to flare it right back up again. Um, and I'm excited to see it, to be honest. But I'm really worried. It's really weird because, like, as a fan of Game of Thrones... And yeah, having watched you know, Danny as a Targaryen go through all of her thing, and coming into this show, um, considering that it's about the Targaryens, you kind of want to. I, I feel like you're you're almost um, expected to be on the Targaryen side. Um, but I don't kind of. I mean, I don't know. I do like the Targaryens. I do like Rhaenyra. I like Daemon. I like all of them. But. I quite enjoy Alicent, even though I like how she's changed and I like a bit of chaos. Um, her father, though, oh God, I don't like him. But, you know, I don't think you're meant to. I was really worried that uh, that Eamon was going to kick something off, um, attack, you know, the... I was going to say the strong points. <laughs> attack um, you know, Luke, Luke or Jace. Uh especially at that dinner, but it looked like Luke was like giving him the, like laughing at him because of a scar. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely is. Out of the two, I think, out of like Aemond and Aegon, I definitely think Aemond is the, the fucking nutbag. Aegon's just a freaking, you know, rapist. We still didn't get um, like confirmation that Corlys was dead. Uh, they didn't seem to think that he was, but God, Feynman got his, you know, <laughs> he got a big smile. <laughs> uh, overall, it was a good episode. Uh, Luke, uh, still the uh, upcoming Lord of Driftmark. Uh, so that kind of worked out for them. They're going to be getting married to Rhaenys' uh, grandkids. Of course, yeah, keeping it all in, all in the family, as they do. But yeah, it was a good episode. Um, I... I'm surprised I didn't actually cry when Viserys died. I'm sure he's dead. Uh, it was I said it was definitely the walking in the aisle that got to me. That was great. The whole makeup on him was amazing. Um, and like just watching him from the first episode to this one, his slowly deteriorating over time. Very heartbreaking. Um, and right up to the end, you know, he just wanted his family to come together, love each other, and unfortunately. It just, it just wasn't going to happen. But this was good. I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the next episode. We have episode 9 next week. And I'm wondering if we are going to go um, with a huge episode like usual in the Game of Thrones. I hope so. I guess we're going to leave it there though. Uh, we'll pick it up next time. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more House of the Dragon. See ya.